Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how you can transfer your WhatsApp messages to your Telegram application automatically. Here, WhatsApp and Telegram are two different messaging platforms and there is no direct connection between WhatsApp and Telegram. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Public Connect. So that whenever a new message is received on WhatsApp, Public Connect will automatically send message to Telegram at the same time. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with the process. Okay, so this is my WhatsApp group that is sales team here. I'm going to send a message and this is my telegram web where I'm going to receive the same message in this information group. Okay, so here in the WhatsApp, I'm going to send a message and the message is I'm just pasting. Okay. Okay, so I have already copied something on notepad. I'm just pasting it over here. Okay, so okay, this is the message that I want to send. So here I sent it and here I'm going back to this telegram. Okay, here I'm just refreshing it once and we'll see whether we receive the same message or not. Okay, so here we receive the same message that we sent on WhatsApp. Which one? Let me just show you. Okay, so this was the message and here in the telegram it is the same message. Okay, so that's how we have connected WhatsApp and telegram. Here for sending WhatsApp messages, I have used this chat API which is a third party application. Okay, now to initiate the process, let's type pably.com in the new tabs browser. Okay, so new tab here I'm typing pably.com p-a-b-b-l-y dot com. Okay, now press enter. This is the site of Pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. Okay, this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to sign in as I have already created my account. That's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. So sign in. Okay, this is my account and here I'm going to click on connect access now. Okay, that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button. So click on it and here you have to name your workflow. So the workflow name is WhatsApp to Telegram. Okay, wonderful. Now click on create. Okay, so this is the name of your workflow. Here I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so whenever you will click on create, these two windows will appear. This is known as trigger window and this is known as action window. Here trigger takes place and here action. Okay, so trigger says when this happens. Suppose in this use case, whenever a new message is received on WhatsApp is a trigger. Okay, now send the same message to telegram or transfer the same message to telegram is the action of this process. So that's how trigger and action works. Okay, so here, let me just choose a trigger application. So trigger, trigger application is chat API. Okay, now why I am choosing chat API? Because we can't really send the WhatsApp messages directly. That's why I'm using chat API, which is a third party application. And one more thing about chat API that it is a paid software and Public Connect doesn't own it. So here we are going to select a trigger event. Trigger event is new messages. Yeah, here we have to connect our chat API with Public Connect. Then we will connect our Public Connect with this telegram. Okay, so that's how we are going to make a connection like chat API with Public Connect and Public Connect with telegram. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are going to connect chat API with Public Connect. So how? Click on this connect button and here what is this API URL and token. I will add the link in the description box about account setup of chat API. You can visit there. So here in the chat API after the successful setup, you will find this API URL and the token here. So here what we have to do, we have to just copy this URL. Okay, and just paste it over here. Wonderful. Now about the token, token is just beside that URL. Let me just show you this one. Okay, 
so here just copy it and just paste it here in the token section wonderful now click on save and that's how we have successfully connected chat api with public connect now click on this save and send test request okay now click on this waiting for webhook response okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to send a message from whatsapp okay so here in the whatsapp i'm going to send a random message okay this is hello how are you doing let me just set up okay so here hello how are you doing okay and let me just add one more line where do you live now okay this is just a random text okay so i'm going to send it here and going back to this public connect and here it is waiting for webhook response and the message is received in public connect okay now public connect has captured the details and the message okay hello how are you doing and where do you live now okay so this was the text that we are going to send to telegram okay so now we have successfully received the response and all the details this is the chat name or we can say the group name where we received the message okay so wonderful now here in the action application what we have to choose we have to choose telegram okay here we have successfully connected chat api with public connect now we are connecting public connect with telegram bot okay so here in the application action application we are going to choose telegram bot okay now choose it and here the action event is send a text or a message reply okay so just click on it okay and here i'm going to click on connect okay so just going to click on this connect button and here the token now for token what we have to do we have to follow these steps okay so i'm going back to my telegram web okay so here i'm going to search for bot father okay this is the bot father here what you have to do you have to create a bot then you have to give it a name and then you have to create a username and then you have to make it as an admin here i'm using web telegram that's why i couldn't make that person or make that username as an admin you can do that from desktop of telegram like telegram desktop or from your mobile okay so here what we are going to do we are going to initiate the creation of bot so here just type new bot okay wonderful all right a new bot how are we going to call it so a name for it so i'm giving it a name as okay so one two three four and press enter okay now we have to add a suffix as bot okay so for that i'm going to write the name okay make sure your username should be unique because sometimes it shows like this is already taken so you have to choose a very unique username okay so here bot suffix wonderful okay so we are lucky that we received this in one time okay so this is the username and this is the token that you have to add in this public connect webhook okay so let me just fix it back okay so here you have to paste it okay so i'm going back to this telegram web and here what i'm going to do i'm going to use my previous token id because i want to make this person admin but i can't make because i'm using web telegram you can make that username from your mobile or telegram desktop okay so i'm going to choose it suppose let me just scroll it down okay this particular i'm going to use this id copy it and pasting here okay yeah so click on save and we have successfully connected our telegram with public connect okay now here the fields are visible that is chat id text message and all the fields okay so what we have to fill we have to fill these fields now chat id what is chat id and where do we get that so here i'm going back to telegram web 
and here I'm going to go type for that information group okay this one here in the URL section you are going to find this chat ID okay so this one this is the chat ID just copy it and go back to public connect and here just paste it you have to follow these instructions that are given below I'm just adding minus to it and pasting it okay so here all the instructions are given below that how you have to use this chat ID or how you have to add the prefix or these numbers before your chat ID whether it is a group user private channel or any other thing that already given here okay so yeah here in the chat ID now the text message text message we can map it from the this window okay this window what this window is showing all the details of this window that is trigger window Ye, these details are visible in the down windows and we can easily map it okay so here is the message that is this one okay so this is the message and we are going to just save and send test request okay just save and send test request click on it and we have successfully sent the details or the message to that particular information group this is okay now going back to telegram web and here i'm just going to see the message okay so hello how are you doing where do you live now okay so this was the same message as we sent here in the whatsapp okay so this was the message that we received in the telegram okay here this one so i'm going back to my public connect window and here i'm going to just minimize my action and trigger window okay so here this one and this trigger one. okay so here what we have done we have successfully connected to application through public connect here firstly we have connected chat api with public connect then public connect with telegram bot in this manner we have connected these two applications and not just these two applications you can connect or integrate multiple applications and automate your business with public connect link of public connect and this workflow is given in the description for any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching